Now here we have 1 and 3 quarters minus 7 eighths. Now subtraction is usually easier if we're subtracting from an improper fraction rather than a mixed number. And 1 and 3 quarters as an improper fraction is 7 quarters. So 1 times 4 plus 3 is 7, our numerator, and the denominator stays the same. But that's 7 quarters, and we're taking away eighths. So we need to change our 7 quarters into eighths. 7 quarters is the same as 14 eighths. So we've changed 1 and 3 quarters into an improper fraction, and then we found an equivalent fraction with a denominator that's the same. So now we can rewrite our question. Really, we have 14 eighths minus 7 eighths, which is 7 eighths. So let's see what we did here. We started with 1 and 3 quarters, which is the same as 14 eighths. Then we subtracted 7 eighths to get our answer 7 eighths. Now pause the video and try 1 and 1 third minus 1 half. We change our mixed number to an improper fraction, so we have four thirds, but now we still have denominators of three and two, and we need the denominators to be the same, so we need to change both fractions. Now six is in the three times table and the two times table, so let's find equivalent fractions with a denominator of 6. 4 thirds is equivalent to 8 sixths. 1 half is equivalent to 3 sixths. So we can rewrite our question. So we changed 1 and 1 third into an improper fraction and then found an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 6. So we have 8 sixths minus one half, which we changed to three sixths. That gives us our answer, five sixths. So let's look at what we did. We started with one and one third. We took away half, and that left us with five sixths. Or to be more precise, what we really did was change 1 and 1 third into 8 sixths. Then we worked out that 3 sixths is the same as a half, so we took away 3 sixths to give us our answer. 